every time I like sit down, it's so cool, it just rolls around. Hey guys, what's up? Um, again, with another strange video. Maybe I might make a habit out of doing things like this. Like I said the last time, I am um, not very comfortable or like, it's not kind of my thing to do commentaries or vlogs, uh, like I mentioned last time. It's just, I don't know, the idea is kind of weird. When you could talk into a camera, you can talk to somebody else. I, I guess socializing is cool. But um, anyway, yeah, I, I felt, of urge to make this kind of video i you know a very very ironic thing happened after i made that video i uh went up i had to go up to micro center i'm i go to school at ohio university and i had to go up to micro center in columbus there's only two locations in ohio and the one being i used to go to in cincinnati when i was at undergrad at xavier i would go there i had to go up to columbus this time it's shorter because my my pc just kept like power cycling and you know i didn't i wasn't understanding what's going on i didn't know if it was my processor or worst case scenario my motherboard and of course if you can probably tell where the story's going i went up to try and drop off my pc and on the way back my car suspectedly overheated and long story short the day was kind of all around unproductive. It was, it was very, very uh, stressful trying to manage uh, getting a car off of 33 East going to Athens and at the same time kind of manage, you know, wow, this is like just the thought process of, wow, this is really, really funny that this happens after I make that commitment to start doing more videos. And I, you know, I'm dancing circles with this here, but it's just I'm I felt very compelled to start doing this kind of Commentary this kind of video this kind of vlogging because you know I was sitting there on the hood of my car and thinking man I I got it. I should have started yesterday at this kind of stuff I should have started you know when I had that intuition Back halfway through my senior year to start making videos like this and I guess I don't know this serves as kind of inspiration because I it was funny, I was working the same day on YouTube and I looked at this video, I can put it down in the description, of this guy who who was in a convention in Columbus and had basically like suffered a kind of heart attack, he fainted. And it was just, you know, I don't know, the events that tied together that same day just made me think like, God damn it, like, oh, I haven't started this sooner. And so I really just wanted, I was compelled to make this video because I do want to put content out there. I do want to create, uh, you know, more ideas on YouTube or just, you know, use it as kind of a, 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 a you know, portfolio builder, so to say. I'm at school here for journalism and I really want to take it to the next level of what it means to be a journalist. Of course, I'm stammering because I honestly don't know and all of this is really exciting. I had usually, my best memories were from working in my college newspaper through my senior year and I want to continue that just because of the people I met and people I worked with were, you know, all the engagements were just so funny. They were just great you know, interactions with people themselves, even doing interviews with people and having that sort of, you know, uh, thankfulness from them that they got covered. And I just wanted to continue that. It was, you know, the whole process, the last, oh, I forget when it was, it was a Friday, I think it was, like just three days ago when my car broke down and, you know, then my PC breaks down. And even today, uh, I replaced the motherboard on it. I went up and said, no, you, you know, I might as well do this repair on my own. And uh, lo and behold, I got through all the steps. I made it, I replaced it, I did it, reinstalled Windows 10, and then lo and behold, it, I blew screen three times. And, you know, it just adds to the irony of like, as soon as I made that first post, there's all these things, there's all these challenges. I guess the message I'm trying to convey here is like, there's all these challenges that you might face coming across what you want to do. And it's, I mean, it depends, it all just depends on your reaction to it. My reaction was crying. Um, uh, initially it was a lot of crying, but when I was setting up to make this, I just thought, man, I gotta like, I have to go after this. This is the that kind of uh, situation where you're set, uh, reacting to a challenge or you know facing a test where you know the world throws throws things at you because the world it, it just doesn't care you know life happens life takes its course and it's it's you know 
a funny thing to think that, hey, I make this commitment. I wanna do video games, I wanna get on YouTube, I wanna start creating stuff, and then car breaks down, computer breaks down, and I'm left playing the POC edition of Minecraft, which is really fun. I, you know, I've never actually been into world building, but now, you know what, I can, I can see its appeal. Yeah, I can see that. So yeah, um, yeah kind of stuck here, whatever, doing whatever, and hopefully making more videos like this or adding more content. One thing I did want to say though was, um, I will be adding, once I get this whole PC uh, situation figured out, which will be an indefinite amount of time. I'm here at grad school and I very much anticipate the wrecking ball of work and you know research and grading to just smack me right across the face sometime soon, relatively soon. It, I don't feel like it happens, but usually that's the case when you start like, oh, you know what, this isn't so bad. Then it gets terrible. And so, at least with academics, it, um, I anticipate that happening very soon. So it, it is a tentative. I'm, I'm kind of happy to have this time too, to kind of work on different projects, work on things like this, maybe get into photography um, and more recording, more commentary videos such as this. Um, but I did with the games channel. When that works out, there's a really cool website. I'll put that in the description below too. It's called gamescriticism.org. It's a journal of games criticism. And you know, I was I was kind of in a rut after I made the first video. Where I was like, okay, let's let's see what my opposition is here. Let's see what kind of challenges I have to overcome. And I, you know, basically look up every kind of article, every kind of source that says video game journalism is basically being you know working with advertisers. And um, you know, I came across this journal and all these people, they write these articles. They're PhD candidates, they're PhD students who write these articles on gaming culture. You know, there was this one article that I wrote I want to upload and discuss, kind of review and kind of you know, get the word out there or whatever. It's something I thought is really exciting. And they discuss, you know, with encoding of games, of, you know, scripts that write, uh, 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 I don't know. There's very clearly um, a androcentric sort of um, view on even coding where you know with quest builders females are listed as I people to have sex with or to be sluts and I'm like that's incredible like bad but incredible how that's even written in the code how sort of non-diversified you know protagonists and how quests uh, and quests are so that was one thing I did want to add to the channel again this is this is another very weird sphere of a video that's the correct description I would say um, because I just you know I felt compelled I wanted to make more content I set out to do it and then the world smacks me in the face with more stuff that I got to get across but it's like you know am I gonna let this stop me or am I only gonna let this keep going and so after bawling my eyes out and immense frustration uh, here I am so I hope you guys are doing well um, if I don't know. Find this video helpful, send it to a friend, like it, I don't care. I don't know the appeal to people. In any case, hope y'all having a good day. Peace.